Hello guys, uh, in this tutorial we will control a uh, servo motor uh, with a uh, joystick. So for this project we are going to need going to need a breadboard so we can hook up all the wires on it with Arduino. I have the uh, Arduino Nano and you can use Arduino UNO, Arduino Mega and Arduino Pro Mini as well but I'm using this one I will place the Arduino Nano on breadboard like that and here I have the servo motor and servo motors has uh, three wires you can see this uh, brown wire you are looking at let me focus on that yes the brown wire is a uh, ground wire and the middle one is the red wire and this is a positive VCC and the yellow wire is for the signal so I have connected with uh, jumper wires so we can hook up on the Arduino with the Arduino Nano. So this one is a VCC. This will go to ground, and this will the yellow one is a signal wire. We will provide signal signal to the servo motor, and servo motor which I am using is SG90. Let's move on, and next the component next component that we need is a joystick you can see this is left right up and down x axis and y axis and you can rotate that as well and it has a click also so it has so many terminals let me remove that cap and focus on those yeah now you can see this uh, there is a ground wire and positive 5 volt and we are x axis and we are y axis and this one is a switch which is here and uh, when you place this cap on top of it and when you click on that you can hear the sound so i have already hooked up the wires with it now let's move on to connect all the make all the connections i have this one and the red one will goes to uh, vcc 5 volt here i have the 5 volt pin on the arduino and the ground wire and this one is a signal wire and uh, the PWM pins of the Arduino we can use 3, 5, uh, 9 and more or up to so on so I will connect it to the 3 you can use the digital pin as well and now the next thing is let's place the servo motor here next thing is a joystick now this is the VCC and ground connect according to the schematic this is the ground goes to ground black wire and the red wire is the VCC it will connect to the VCC of the Arduino Nano on the breadboard so you can see we have X axis and Y axis so I will connect both of them yellow and green wire the last one green wire is for the switch so I will not connect this one only just these two so in this tutorial we will control the two servers but I have only one server lying around so we will work with that 
and I will connect these to analog 0 and analog 1 analog 0 a1 and a0 these two pins and this is a switch wire which is I am leaving as it is now I have a servo motor and Arduino Nano on the breadboard and the joystick so let's begin now moving on to the computer screen here we have Arduino sketch and Arduino environment and we will write the code first of all we have to include the library you can go to sketch include library and go down and servo here the servo motor library is in uh, Arduino environment now you have to type servo servo 1 or you can type servo 1 and put a semicolon at the end of the line and for the second servo do the same and name it as a second servo servo 2 and moving on you have to initialize joy joystick x and write the x in a capital and is equal to 0 and semicolon and initialize joy of joystick y axis and 0 and this uh, next one is a 1 which is we have connected here on the breadboard the a0 and a1 you can change as you like if you want now you have to initialize the joystick variable variable and that's it now in a setup void setup part you have to type uh, servo 1 servo 1 attached to pin number 3 4 5 which however the pin you like you want to use you can use it so I will using 3 and 4 or 3 or 5 if you want so let me call it and again type servo 1 servo 2 sorry for that attached 5 in semicolon at the end of the line now moving on into the loop section here we have to make all the functions that we want type joy well analog read because analog we have connected the joystick to the analog pin so we have to read the analog read and which one joy joy x and semicolon at the end now we have to map this values so as you know the analog values are start from uh, 0 to 1023 which are almost uh, which is exact 1024 but uh, it start from 0 that's why we are counting from 0 to 1023 so we are going to map the uh, map the uh, map that one is equal to map joy well semicolon 0 to 10 23 that's the range and we know that a servo motor rotate from 0 to 180 degree so we will type that as well this is for the 
uh, server one so we will type the servo one dot write which values the joy values which we have initialized here and give it here so we will type joy well joysticks and semicolon at the end moving on for the second servo just copy this same code and paste it again but change the servo 1 to servo 2 and joy x to joy y here it is and that's it and uh, also I almost forgot add a delay of 10 millisecond or 15 millisecond if you want and uh, keep that in mind the joystick is right now at its uh, reset uh, position which is at the center if we move the joystick that way and servo will rotate to the left and if we rotate that way it will rotate to the right side so uh, for the second also left and uh, up and down left right up and down left and right so what we will do keep the servo here so you can see what's actually happening now i will connect the first you have to save the code so save the code and give it a name joystick servo Arduino and it's saved now check for the errors if you have first compile the code if you find any errors you can remove them and as you can see it's done compiling now go to tools select Arduino Nano processor it's a 80 mega 328p old boot level loader and here we don't have the com port of arduino nano which uh, it's here showing two com ports three and one but it's not the arduino nano because we haven't connected it so let's connect it first so you can see it will appear here on the port, third one so i'm going to connect the Arduino Nano to PC as you can see Arduino Nano lights light up and now go to tools and see here is a COM port 8 now upload the code by clicking on this button when you upload this code it will also tell us the our code is uploaded done uploading code is uploaded now i have a joystick here so let's see and the servo motor here so we will i will try to rotate it so check make sure your connections are all collect correct uh, servo motor is not getting any power I don't know why is that it's not working right now we got some kind of a connection problem I don't know and there is no power in the servo right now 
now it's on its uh, initial position as you can see I'm rotating I'm giving it a see it's working pretty well it's working very nicely so off the camera I took all the connection and make it again actually there was a wire that positive VCC this wire was a broken wire and it, the uh, voltage was not running through here to the servo so I made all the connection again once again and we are back now I will rotate see that's the initial position and the servo is in the center position I will rotate it's moving uh, left you can see that way if I place it it's moving right left right left It's working very nicely. It's working very perfectly. Now if I change the D3 to D5, now I will use this as a up and down motion so you can control two servos with joysticks one joystick can control two servos and if you want to control four servos with a joystick you have to buy two joysticks and four servos and just add more servos and joysticks values you are good to go Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos. I'm gonna upload more tutorials and I hope you will like it and thank you so much.